Good morning. It is super early. Uh, yesterday it was 117 degrees in Phoenix. That's lethally hot for rattlesnakes. They can't be out in it. Um, it's lethally hot for people. So naturally we're gonna go find some rattlesnakes this morning. In those temperatures, they do really particular things, and especially like when we have nights like now where there's some clouds above me and maybe the promise of some rain sometime in the future. Rattlesnakes get all excited about it and they're all gonna be sitting out today. I'm gonna go take some pictures of where those snakes are and see what we can learn about the temperatures that they tolerate versus the temperatures that they prefer in times like this. I really don't like to disturb these animals. That's why we do this as minimally as possible. I might visit a site like this once in a year, that's it. And then I'm completely gone and I do it either by myself or with the one other person that I'm working with on this project. All right, I just read them. These are all new snakes. That's kind of exciting. I gotta get them to go back the right way. This part is a mistake that uh, a lot of herpers make early on. Again, herpers being people that like snakes but don't necessarily know that they're hurting them with their actions sometimes. We'll see a snake out somewhere, take a photo of it. If it crawls away, that's all fine. But this snake knows that that crevice is where it needs to go to live because here in an hour it's going to be lethally hot. So it has to be able to get there. If it crawls up this way and goes and hides under a rock for a half hour, you very well may have killed the snake. Uh, it's one of the most unfortunate things that we've learned from this project is how destructive uh, even the people that really care about them can be just through little tiny mistakes like that. All right, I'm gonna leave them alone. And I may not see them again this year, but I have photos of them now so I can match up the tails and hopefully see them again. So anybody that works outside in Arizona or does anything outside in Arizona, um, cringes when people talk about uh, being a dry heat. So, yeah, I've done a lot of work in the tropics. I've done a lot of work in hot, humid places. Uh, and it is oppressive and it's uncomfortable. But it is different than, you know, 115 to 120 degrees and 3% humidity. One of them makes you feel a little extra sweaty and uncomfortable while you're eating your barbecue. The other one kills people, kills animals. And just being in these parks with everyone hiking around, that's probably the most Phoenix thing there is, is there's a bunch of people hiking here today and you can hear sirens. Um, every day someone's pulled out of here. Sometimes they're, they're dead um, and we still just keep hiking. <laughs> so yeah, I get it. There's uncomfortable, um, but then there's dangerous heat. And uh, that's where we're in. It was by the time the sun came up here, we were recording over a hundred degrees and it's just bright full sun today. And it's, there is actually humidity at 67% humidity right now. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start getting out of here. Hey everyone, headed to Colin North Phoenix, kind of a typical call for this time of year. Got a rattlesnake on a back patio. Uh, the rattlesnake really has nowhere to go right now because it's so hot. So it's kind of locked into that patio area, which is nice and shady. Hello, snake. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I saw him. <laughs> no people where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> Just hanging out in the shade. Picture of him. So it is the rattler. Yeah, it's a Western Diamondback. Did you want to come out? Not really. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> Not until you have it in the bucket. Gotcha. <laughs> I got my Amazon package. I'm like, oh, I'm staying inside now. Oh, you, you spotted it when you grabbed that? Yeah. Dang, prime day. All right, he's in the bucket. He's in the bucket. You can, Get back. Do you want to look him in, in the bucket? Get back. He won't jump out, right? No, you're good. I want to see. You want to take Thanks. a look? Yeah, he's a no, yeah, see his back. tail now. Yeah, I can Whoa. see his tail. Yeah, isn't he cute? He's yeah, he's cute in the bucket. Just oh, you think here. he's adorable? No one ever agrees <laughs> with me. Oh Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this little Western dime bag here. Put some water in there for it. I don't know if it took a drink. It's really hot out, so 
We put water in the bucket while we hike them in so that it keeps them cool because at 115 they can overheat in this bucket really fast. So this just buys us a little bit of time while we find a spot. So I found a nice spot. Nice little cave here. It feels really good. Okay. There you go. Here you go, little one. Keep her moving. <laughs> See you, bud. All right, well that home was located like literally like right on the preserve. So that snake likely was just hunting in the area last night or early morning and then uh, it started to heat up so it just decided to nestle in the shade for the day. It is a toasty roasty out here. It's hot, it's hot. I don't get hot very easily, but it is a little hot out. Hey everybody, I am headed out to Phoenix right now to go remove a snake that is in a backyard, I think. Hello. You have a snake? Yeah. Okay. First, first, time in, first time in 23 years. The first time in 23 years? Oh, wow. Okay. Look at it up in the corner there. Oh, yeah. It's a little coach whip snake. Oh, is that what Yeah. Oh, oh, hi. They're not, they're not venomous. Oh, not? Nope. They are a little bit bitey, <laughs> but but it's not dangerous or anything. Right. Yeah. Okay. So could I, so could I expect to see more of them? Um, you know what? I wouldn't, I don't know about expect to see more, but I would, but you live, you, you know, you have these mountains here, yeah, so yeah. things will happen, right, you know right, what I mean? Right. So Absolutely. um, Absolutely. you're kind of, it's not impossible that you'd see a rattlesnake because you're, you're close to the mountains, right. but you're a couple streets in, which yeah. is kind of like a layer yeah. for you, right? Yeah. So it's more common to see, it's not that it's impossible to see a rattlesnake, but it's gonna be more common to see these little snakes because they cover a lot of ground and they're fast and they they hide a little bit better. Okay, good, let me just, uh, want me to just walk around the yard real quick and make sure there's nothing yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, All right, well that was easy. It makes things actually a little less complicated other than the fact I'm covered in uh, poop and a little bit of blood, which is a typical interaction with a coach whip, but nothing dangerous or anything. All right, so before I go, take it out, I'm gonna share a little bit of my water. <laughs> They're very fast and they get away very easily. Hopefully. He takes some of that. I'm thinking these areas here with a lot of shade, a lot of retreat, a lot of deep holes are all going to be really good for this guy. So I got a little bit of blood, a little bit of musk or poop on me. That's what these snakes do when they're grabbed, when they feel like they're being eaten. They say, I'm going to hurt you and I'm going to disgust you. I am not good food. You get any water? Oh, see that? See how he's like, I am going to light you up if you get near me. You got it? Oh. I want you to go a little bit deeper. There you go. Now stay in the shade and don't burn up. So the situation of that relocation actually perfectly illustrates how easily I could do this process wrong. See, coach whips are known for being seen and gone by the time that we get there. And I, it was about an hour drive to get to this call and that snake had a stare down with the homeowner on in the shade in the back porch for that long, risking death by predation, knowing full well 
that if it left that shady spot and exposed itself to this heat out here, it would have died. Getting it in the shade and getting it deep like I did over here and giving it an opportunity to cool down a little bit greatly increases or almost guarantees its chances of survival. Coach whips do very, very well with relocation because they're nomadic and they are uh, active hunters. So. Just got a note from Brandon. There is a call in Cave Creek. A rattlesnake is about to disappear underneath the home. So I got to get there pretty fast. Also, it's going to be 118 degrees today. So that's fun. So while I'm headed out to this call, uh, Jeff is on another one and it's kind of the same situation during this estivation time. It is super hot outside. Rattlesnakes have to find places to hide from the heat and get water. And a lot of times that's at somebody's house. So I'm headed to this one. It's that kind of situation. Jeff is headed to one in South Phoenix. Sounds like exactly the same thing. It's pretty much the kind of day it's gonna be. Oh, is she rattling at you now? Yeah. She's right down there. Okay. I just got one screw left. <laughs> okay, cool. She's little. This little one, huh? I'll take a look around too, just to make sure it's not more. Yeah, I mean, I know we've got a coach whip who lives down here, and we have a Gila monster who lives You got here. all the good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> the monster <laughs> lives underneath here wow. too, so I wonder if... This is an awesome place. Oh, You're right we, on the wash, there's... We have the best, that's why we actually debated, I was like, what's the rattlesnake right next to the wash? Yeah, kind of oh, just yeah. natural progression. Well, we didn't pull that side, but we did pull that side. Okay. So whatever, no we problem. can do more. No, it's perfect. There she is, okay. Oh, she's so angry. Yeah, it's a boy. Oh, it's a boy. Yep. Oh, sorry. How yep. can you tell the difference? See how he has this long tail? Uh-huh. Oh, the, the long black and white strip? Yep. So the females have a shorter. Okay. A shorter the tail. The other one I saw that was a little bit. I'll put, her, I'll put him in the shade real fast and then I'm going to look around just to, and then we'll. I'll show you the last place I saw one. Oh, yeah. It's nice and cool under there. Yeah. And I was running the hose, so it's wet under there too right okay. now. Okay. That's why I think she came up as it maybe got a little um, wetter than she preferred. It's oddly cool under there too. Yeah. So there could be a even like a hole in our air conditioning vent. We yeah. told our landlord that it happens, he but it's like, like to it's agree with us. It's way cooler than it should be under yeah. there. Agreed. <laughs> it's not as cool in my house as it should be. Well, yeah. All right, that was an easy capture, and uh, that snake had a really nice kind of air conditioned situation there. Um, underneath that home, there was definitely cold air blowing. So there is a leak in the air conditioning somewhere, um, which is, if you're an animal and you have access to that, of course they're gonna be there. But uh, it was it's always great to meet um, people that live out here that totally understand the situation. Um, so it makes it real easy. Uh, and that's certainly the case here. So um, it's already well above 100 today. And I'm not gonna release this snake right now. It's gonna take a little bit of thinking because this is a bunch of private property and I can't just go dump a snake on somebody else's property. Uh, also, with these temperatures, I don't have the time that it takes to hike to the proper spot to release this. So I'm gonna wait until dark, and then we're gonna go out and get this guy a new estimation site. It's not gonna have AC, but it's gonna have to work. All right, just like that, I got another call. I'm headed to the Paradise Valley right now to go get a rattlesnake that the landscapers found in their bushes. No one's watching it or they're hesitant to watch it. They don't want to get too close. Uh, so it could potentially get tricky, but I'm headed there as fast as I can. Hi. Hi. I'm kind of just sleeping under the tree. Okay. So. Okay, taking advantage of the shade. Yeah. Okay. I don't even know if it's still here, but... Okay, well, we'll take a look. This time of day, I don't know that there's going to be many places for it to want to go without it just dying, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, not yet. Oh, there it is. Right there. Oh, it's a little speckled rattlesnake. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's just the species of rattlesnake. Uh, Phoenix has a lot of different rattlesnake species. Oh, it's that one? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see it there. Yeah, well, you see its pattern? Uh, you can come look at it. I won't let it get out or anything. You see its pattern is meant to blend in with these rocks. Oh, yeah. Is and that it? Is that the one you saw? Ooh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it is? Okay. 
All the time we take lunch here, we'll Ooh. never pay attention. Okay, really? Oh, you were sitting right next yeah, to it? Yeah. Really? Oh my God. The other day, we, we take a lunch in here when the one snake fall down from Oh my God. Here, but it's not a rattlesnake? Oh, just a... a well, how you call? Like a gopher snake or yeah, a whip snake? Snake. snake? Okay, yeah. Just eat lunch on my patio. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But like I was saying before, it's this shade right here. Yeah. And it's not going to want to leave the shade, at right. least until nighttime, or else it's going to cook. So. Yeah, right. Is this uh, from a drip system? Yeah. Okay. That's probably another reason. Uh, that wet spot right here is yeah. another reason is that they're probably yeah. you're gonna have rattlesnakes here for sure okay. and they're gonna come to this spot oh, this is like a perfect spot but they're coming here for this moisture and they're coming here for this shade yeah. it's not often you get pine trees in phoenix well we got them <laughs> back too so they're probably over there yeah. i'm about to go out here it's about 117 degrees right now so i gotta really be careful i'm gonna give this snake a bit of water as well to cool off in and drink. All right, there's a speckled rattlesnake going for a little swim that it didn't anticipate going for today, but it's all hydrated. Okay, I'm gonna grab this thing. All right, I found this cave right here and it goes deep and it gets them out of the, out of the sun. I checked to make sure that it actually does go deep there and I'm gonna make sure that he gets right in here go into the dark I know I wish you luck little one oh man it's funny because even sticking my face kind of in that hole a little bit feels way cooler. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if there was more down there if I were to stick like a probe way down in that cave if there wasn't other ones all backed up in there, so. All right, I told people that I would be checking in in about 20 minutes. <laughs> Make sure I didn't faint in the heat or anything. So I'm gonna get off the trail and go check in and get in the AC. Well, look at this. 118. <laughs> Woo! 